Anona sent this security camera for our review, and I always love a really nice security camera, but I love it when it's actually combined or comboed with its own solar power. So you don't have to have you know any wires coming down and have energy provided to it. It will do its own thing. So this is the little camera right there. I love the shape. I love the way it looks. They did a really good job on the design. Um, now, it does have a 10,000 milliampere battery in there. So of course, the solar panel is going to charge this battery. And at night, clearly there's no more sun to be used with the solar panel. It will run the entire night off of that 10,000 milliampere battery, which is a great thing. So what I decided to do is we're gonna do the initial setup and see how easy it is. Uh, I hear it's extremely easy to do. So we're going to take that off. I just wanted to see it, look at that, beautiful. This is a 4K lens, so it will actually record in 4K. And because of those nice little lights on the side and the infrared cap capability, you actually can do nighttime color night vision, which is pretty cool. It's not gonna be that grainy green or gray type of image. So that's a real big plus. So they're gonna say, uh, this is a, once you sign up, obviously a free app to download. Once you sign up and get going, it will basically search for any nearby devices using Bluetooth. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm going to say that I have the Aurora cam, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna click on Aurora and it's telling me to hold the reset button. And the recent button is right here. It's very simple. And I have to hold it on for five seconds until the orange light flashes. And we're gonna see, oh, there it is. Orange light is flashing. I love when things just work. So it's, I'm confirming the orange light has flashed and it's searching for the device. And it's right there. That's it. That was so easy, so simple. Uh, I'm in. Now all I have to do is, this was saying welcome to me. Uh, now all I have to do is set it up on the Wi-Fi because yes, it is Bluetooth for the setup, waiting but it works. Connection. It's waiting for the connection for our Wi-Fi, which obviously we will connect it and put it on the Wi-Fi. Now this is going to get uh, right at the end of our driveway where the Wi-Fi is not super strong, but I know and I have a really good feeling about this because of uh, the, the how big that camera is and, um, and the type of connection that it will be able to get. I think it's gonna do just a perfect job. I'm just gonna go real quick and show you the two different brackets. This bracket here is for the camera and it actually Waiting just- it actually just connects right here and you'll be able to uh, have those three. And of course they give you all the, hard, uh, the hardware screws and everything, boom, you can uh, you can set it up on your house or exactly where I'm going to be showing you where I'm going to be setting it up in just a second. And the second bracket is, of course, for this gorgeous oversized solar panel. As you can see right there, the solar panel has two, um, two, two screens, basically, um, two cells, uh, as they call it, Wait, and a USB-C and a USB-C cable and a long enough cable so I can actually run, uh, maybe put it a little bit further out where I have a better um, a better angle for uh, sun rays, right? And it's going to connect off of, let's see where it actually connects. I, I haven't seen this yet. There you go. Good guess. Uh, right there, USB-C on here. And it is completely weatherproof as well, which is a good thing because this will stay uh, outside um, and work outside 24 seven. Waiting for connection. So we're going to connect it because it's begging to do so. And uh, we're going to go and set it up. So it is installed. I actually screwed it uh, onto a piece of wood because I did not want to put it right onto the concrete. Everything here is concrete. The gate is metal. So it's kind of a little hard for us to kind of, you know, uh, customize things. But here we've got perfect uh, sunlight throughout the day. So eight, 10 hours almost of direct sunlight, which is great for that position. And this little 4K camera, check this out. It looks incredible. Uh, the app is super user friendly and I'm just uh, loading it up right now and it's going to actually start up. I'm on power saving mode right now and you'll see it uh, load up just like this and I'm going to go and full screen. So clearly I can see the entire gate. I can see who's coming in, who's co who's going and coming. And the cool thing with this is it has detection, so human detection. So if someone just walks by, it will know. If it's an animal, it will know not to start recording but because yes, this thing records. So it will detect humans, it will detect cars obviously. And the really nice thing too is that there's no cars in here. There's, it's got a 
uh, internal memory. You've got 28.5 gigabytes of you know, space in here. So there's no paying for extra cloud storage or anything like that. Everything is here, replayable on your app, on your phone. It's so easy to, like this whole thing is so nice and visual. I love that. So you've got the smart detection covered by AI, video and audio. You can have two-way communication. So if I'm in the house, someone's at the gate and wants to say something or I want to say something to them, I can do that. I can trigger an, al an alarm. I can turn on the lights as well. When it's nighttime and maybe uh, someone's not supposed to be there, I can turn on the alarm or, or the, the light to be able to see them um, better. It's got, I mean, super, super complete set of features. I uh, love the fact that, like I said, it's something that you just set and forget about because you've got, you know, you've got power running through the machine, through the solar panels right here. It is, it's an all-in-one uh, unit. I love this thing. And finally, a little gate or a little driver will be protected, powered by Anona. It's awesome.